Now that Roy is a certified trainer, it's time to do some training. Liko and Roy do the equivalent of button mashing, but the moves are super weak, so it ends in a draw. Later on, Free gives them new Pokedexes, and it's pretty legit. The Bolt Tacklers even have a group chat app, and it was partially created by a newfound Hermit member of the team named Dot. Murdoch's like, If you're gonna send memes, they better be good. So Roy goes to the bunker to get some info from Dot about where Rayquaza might be. And here comes... Quaxly! I love this little dude. It's basically Josuke in duck form. Look, don't touch, Roy. Fuecoco's been my favorite, but I don't know, the anime is really making it close. Dot withholds what they know about Rayquaza until Roy sucks less at battling. Liko's motivated to get stronger too after her run-in with Amethia. And that can be arranged. On the field, God Chu storms down. And he's kind of giving Thunder Armor. How are they gonna overcome this? Well, they don't. The two start spamming again, but the captain is unbothered. They are really making this mouse look like a threat. And he's so smug, I love it. Liko kind of figures out the pattern that the captain moves in. I wish I could say they put up a good fight after that, but they didn't really. The captain still very much comes out on top. This is kind of random. Liko went to try Spriggy's food, and it really reminded me of that SpongeBob <laughs> moment. Liko and Roy have a rematch with more tactics and less spamming. And in a surprising turn of events, this time Spriggy wins with a new quick attack. Roy is called back to the cellar, I guess having redeemed himself, and is given a tip that Rayquaza's over Paldea. It's also strongly implied that the silhouette is neato thing, but I don't know, it seriously looks like Go. He just changed after Ash left. This episode was just enjoyable. I really love how much effort they're putting into the characterization of both the people and the Pokemon. This gets a B.